and it's a little wet. It's gonna be a wet day. <laughs> wet, running on one hour of sleep. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah, I can go back. All right. I mean, all right there. So when the Corps of Engineers cut the new river, they cut through a hunting land, and all of the old timey stuff got stranded over here. And as you can see right over there, you can see the jeeps and the um, everything that was just left. I mean, there's no telling how long they've been here. We're back to look at the camp house. We'll go. Th we'll go take a look at it. I mean, old refrigerators. Say that again. Old refrigerators for some reason. That was a shower at one point. And then, so we just made it to the camp house and as you can see, it's been here, it's been here a while. I mean, it looks like something you'd see in a, in a movie. But uh, let's, uh, we gotta walk up there and get everything situated and then we're gonna head to the hole here shortly. I know this sounds crazy, but you can, you can stay over here. Get up here out of the rain, make sure you don't fall. And what is this for? Just if somebody comes down here, they'll know that we're down here. Just like a respect thing more than anything. We're good to go. Let's rock. And our old refrigerator, look at it. See what we can't do. Alright. They make it seem a lot worse than what it is. We don't got a pulley now. I mean, I mean, it's it's a little slick, but it'll work. Alright, come on. Here you go. It's a lot easier to get up too. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I got you. Hey, when I put stuff down there, can y'all just put it behind us? Gotcha. That's everything. The whole trail is marked by highlighter pins. You can't mess it up. Oh. <laughs> when I get right here, I like I was say a prayer before we get in there, and then we can go and see what we can't do. Lord, thank you for this day and everything that you've done. Lord, thank you for getting here safely, Lord, and thank you for letting letting us have the ability to come out here and shoot these ducks. And thank you for these ducks that you bust this with. Lord, please have safe travels back to Sparkle. And please help this rain not to do too bad on us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right.
Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? I think we can call this the Ringneck Massacre out here today. It's just like you get one shot and boom, you go straight up. <laughs> yeah. Especially a little bit of wind. In my opinion, you're not duck hunting if you don't have a honey bun. When you get slow, like at the honey bun, fuel up. They don't let nine o'clock flight. We'll be back. <laughs>
Oh, 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 That right there, well that one's a little burnt, don't look at that one. <laughs> that side right there is what you want. That right there, golden brown. <laughs> Who wants waffle, Coop? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Who wants one? I love this so much. You can, you know, throw it to me and hand it. Which one you want? I'll do either one. <laughs> Deal, man. Who ain't got one that wants one? Sarah, you want one? Bessie, you want one? Watch this. We, we, <laughs> we, I got two more. Yeah, right. You didn't have a whole lot. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Dude, we want to waste a perfectly good waffle. Is it good? Yeah. Do you see how you Cameraman's got to eat. And I'm going to flip It's been raining a little bit. Plus, I've been wading out in the deep water. We lost the fish and sauce. Yeah. 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 So we're wrapping up the hunt here. It was a great morning. It was it was a wet morning and it's coming in, right? The only thing I wanted to kind of point out and talk about here a little bit is the, the duck DNA project that we've got going on. We spoke about it on the podcast and mallards are the primary target species and mallard like ducks this year. Uh, but we also have a need for samples from I think ringneck ducks. Uh, maybe black belly whistling ducks and a couple of other ducks. And we'd reached out and asked some of the participants to provide some samples from that because Dr. Lavretsky needs like solid reference samples from all the different species in North America. And actually this morning turned out to be great for getting us a few samples from ringnecks. And so we're going to be doing that whenever we get back to the launch. We'll, we'll take some tissue samples, tongue samples from four or five of these birds, however many we want to, we decide we want to do. Any thoughts on, on the hunt? I see a good duck go behind me. <laughs> uh, I thought it went well, but I think we finished the ballpark. I think we got 23, 24, and lost three or four. So, not bad at all. It, was, uh, it, went, it went pretty well. This was your first it's, duck Yeah, this duck is my hunt? first duck see, hunt. I didn't uh, know that last night. So, I thought it was great. I'm hooked. I definitely <laughs> will come back. I joked with them earlier that I, I'm going to go out and buy me a boat and I'm going to get the whole, the whole night. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time and uh, I definitely want to go back again. to our reference DNA samples for this particular species. Uh, so here's the kit that Derek received. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open that up. First thing we'll do is just grab one of those vials and set it in that little, uh, little hole there. Just un unscrew the top. Uh, yeah, just unscrew the top there. 
So then the first thing is to breathe carefully and wipe the blade. And be very careful. Yeah. Alright, that's probably gonna be good. Um, and so now then to actually do the tissue sample, all you do is take about a quarter inch of the tongue of this bird. So it has a little, the tip of the tongue is, yeah, yeah, just cut, be very careful, don't cut yourself. If you, if you have, if you have scissors, and then, yeah, and so one of the important things is to make sure you can put it down in there, so see if you can get it down in there. And just put the lid on it. Just keep on tight. And it's going to have, and then we just kind of shake it to make sure that it's fully immersed in that, in that buffer solution. Uh, we've got a number on there. And so then what we do, take a piece of that paraffin wax here. Okay. Yeah. And so all we kind of do is sort of, and just, 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 just kind of it stretch it. it and it'll stick to itself. And so that was all for this one. Right? So the next thing we have to do is we have to submit some data for this. So we've just taken the tissue sample. And so... Derek, you're going to need your phone. You have to log in. Okay, we have Derek's uh, Derek's phone. We're logged into Derek's Duck DNA account. So you're going to hit the menu button there, and you're going to go to New Sample. And it is going to ask you, um, yeah, it should. So I think we have location services enabled. That looks like where we are. Mm -hmm. So one of the way. things you can do, if you wanted to, you could actually go navigate to the exact location where you were. If you wanted to go to satellite, um, is that going to do it? Mm -hmm. And do you know approximately where we were? Mm -hmm. I'll be over in this area. Okay, and so you can just hit, just tap over in there. Okay, and so next step, we don't have to have the exact location, you know, mm -hmm. but and nobody else is going to see the location data. And so the next is a harvest date. So that was today. So we just hit next step. So like the habitat, what would you call that from our options? Forested scrub shrub, most definitely. Yep. Hit next step. So in terms of juvenile adult, I'm going to call this one, I'm going to call this an adult. I'm looking at, so I'm looking at the shape of those uh, mm -hmm. tertials. So do an adult. It's a male. Hit next step and let's scroll down see if we can find a ring neck duck in there should be in the divers on down whoop there, there we are there we go perfect next step sample id comes from the vial dd zero, capital uh yeah that's fine okay dd0836 dd0836 that is it okay hit done, done. next, next step, step. Now then, there's, here's where we take photos. And we've been having a little trouble with this. So there's a trick that I'll show you. And what, what, what we'll do. So hit the, tap that, and then uh, take, photo. take photo. And then elevate the, the camera. Kind of, actually it needs to be kind of like that. On, on this, yeah, just hit that. And use. Yeah, we'll use that. Back. And so it's going to be just... Like that right there. Gotcha. Okay, and then we're going to do a wing. The upper part of the wing. Gotcha. Okay, and then we're going to do the underside of the wing. Okay, and all of this is really important for model ducks and mallards and some of the mm -hmm. hybrids because ultimately he wants, to use, he wants to use some of the photos to train some... Um, photo some uh, what did we call it like uh, photo recognition software things of that nature and then hit nice. next step there we there go so that took it so submit sample and so it's you're just gonna have to wait because it's uploading mm -hmm. like four photos but we've got two bars here and so uh, yeah, so that's that's it. that's it. And so for the, the photos, that's a little workaround we're getting on. We're going to be working on the code to kind of improve that next year. But uh, it's as simple as that. We're going to do this other one as well. So then this will go in the freezer. And then once these others have been filled or it gets to the end of the season, let's say it's only two that you that you filled, then you'll go ahead and just send those in. There's a return label, address label in here. There's also a return postage. Drop it in the mail. 
it'll go to fill four to six weeks later we will um, generate all the the results will be in we'll upload certificates to derek's uh, account and then he'll share that certificate with you and hopefully this is going to say it's a hundred percent uh, wild ring neck duck, which again, given that this is our reference sample, yes, sir, probably what it's going to say. That's what we're assuming yep. it is. Yep. So, um, yeah, still working still on loading, the upload. But it'll there. Go through. You, yeah, so all right, thank Appreciate you. It. You no, bet. We'll you. do this other one here. All right, well, we just got back to the boat ramp. We went with 23. I think we lost two, so 25 total. Appreciate Dr. Rachel coming out here and doing everything he did with us. making our and uh, if you like the video, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.